Hey everybody! Today's a happy day. It's finally time for me to bottle. As you can see, I've set up my fermenter with a book underneath one side to tilt the beer slightly. This makes it easier for me to get every bit of beer into the bottles when I go to siphon. I've already sanitized my bottles and caps. Now I'm going to sanitize my auto siphon, tubing, and bottle filler. Okay, so in order to sanitize my, my auto siphon, uh, tubing, and bottle filler, I'm going to completely immerse it in a container filled with star sand sanitizing solution. Um, then I'm going to stand it up. Um, the bottle filler has a little valve, on the, a one-way valve on the bottom, so I need to touch that to the bottom of the container. Then I'm just going to pump the sanitizer through the tubing uh, to make sure everything in there gets nice and sanitized as well. Okay. Uh, that ought to do it. Now I'm going to take this unit out. I'm going to put the bottle tip into this pint glass and go ahead and let everything drain out of there. I will pump as much as I can out of there. Next, I'm going to open my fermenting bucket and I'm going to insert Again, this is star sand, no rinse sanitizer, so a little bit in there is not going to uh, not going to cause any trouble in my beer. I'm going to go ahead and put the auto siphon into my bucket. Now, I've got a little clip here uh, that's an aftermarket thing. This is not included in your starter kit, but it's helpful since I'm here by myself. Okay, so I'm ready to bottle. Okay, now this is the beauty of the auto siphon. In order to start bottling. All I need to do is get my sanitized bottle, obviously. I'm going to lift the bottle filler out of this pint glass. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to set it down into the bottle and touch the trigger down there. And then I'm going to lift up here and pump once, twice, one more time. And the beer is flowing. gradually coming to the top. I've, this is star sand, so I've got foam coming out of the top. I'm going to watch when the beer right, gets right to the level, and then I'm going to stop. All right, so this beer is full. Now I'm going to grab another bottle. I'm going to lift the bottle filler out. It's going to get a couple drips, but nothing very much. I'm going to put that bottle in its place, and I'm going to touch that down to the bottom, and we'll watch it fill. There it goes. Okay, and then when I pull it out, you can look inside and see that gives us just enough head space. That's just what we're looking for. Now, in order to get carbonated beer, we need to add a measured amount of sugar back to these bottles, then we'll cap. The yeast will revive, it will consume that sugar, produce carbon dioxide. The caps will hold that carbon dioxide in and produce carbonated beer. So um, our kits come with uh, carbonation drops. These are uh, tiny little sugar capsules basically. And all you do, if uh, you have 12 ounce bottles of beer, you take one of these, you drop it into your beer, take another one, drop it into your beer, then I'm going to put my caps on. One, two, I take my capper and I'm going to put this on top and clamp it down. That done. Move this one, take it, clamp down. 
and that's it. The beer is bottled. Now all we have to do is wait. It's going to take 10 days to two weeks for this beer to carbonate in the bottle. Um, then it's going to be ready to drink. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below.